Okay, guys. Uh, big rust hole here. Um, I cut, grinded away all the paint off the top till the shiny metal on the outside edge. Then I cut away all the really new stuff, pulled it in any parts that were going to be a little bit higher than the surface that I'm going to finish with here. Then I got spray foam. This is just like for house, you know, sprayed in the gaps, gap filler. I'm going to take some of this tape and I'm going to cover up the whole shape that I want it to be, except for a small hole, and then I'm going to fill it up with foam. Okay, then you're going to put tape on it, spray some of the foam in there. I'm going to keep putting tape on and get the shape I want it. It's just approximate shape because uh, we're just going to trim off any extra. Okay. Hey guys, here's the, the drone. We're down here by the river. You want to pan over and look at the river real quick? Okay, now come on back and I'll show you. There's a big old backpack for a drone. And the drone's actually bigger than this. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way here. Does the arm go up? I'll set this up and I'll be back. Okay guys, here we go. A view of the screen. You can see this is not a very zoomed in view. It's more like for photography. There they go. Because they were in my way when I was going forward. There we go. That's kind of a view of the top of the crane. Now I'm going to bring it back here and show you all the features the camera does. Okay guys, now it's pretty cool how you can see the legs are up right now. And you can actually turn the, the camera all the way around 360 degrees. See the camera where if I would put the landing right down, it's going to interfere with the camera. Now. And then, I mean, if you're not familiar with drones, what's so cool is when I lean one way or the other, notice the camera is staying level. If I go forward or backward, the, the gimbal keeps the camera level at all times. All right, that's enough for today, you guys. One more reason I'm not working on uh, amphibious motorcycles doing things like this. But I put, try to post a couple of videos each to keep you guys entertained. And hopefully some of them is building the amphibious motorcycle. Okay guys, I lost my camera man. I got a little ahead of myself. What we're doing here is um, like this. After it, while it was drying, it swelled out quite a bit. Then I just took a knife and cut, cut off all the extra kind of to the shape of what we need. And now I'm going to take a grinder and grind it down. I want everything to be lower than the, than the metal surface on the, on the side here. Then for the grinders, out of all of these different attachments here, this it seems to be the best. What it is, it's like little pads of sandpaper here on an angle. Okay, with that, it 
seems to cut like butter. It's real, it seems like it's soft, but yet this is a pretty hard material. I mean, we will be able to squeeze it down some. So be careful not to go too deep. Make sure you get it deep enough. You want it down actually lower than this edge because we're going to fill this in with the plastic filler. Okay, every place is ready for filler now. You can see it didn't even get foam in this spot, but that's all right. Filler will fill that in. And a little spot over here too. Okay, so at this stage we need uh, the Bondo, the hardener. This will be a later stage. All these things here. Now I'm gonna put some of this on here, put some hardener on, mix it up, and then we're gonna put a thin layer on top of here. Okay. Should match the same color as the spatula here. All right, there's that thin layer. We got that one hole filled in, just a little Oh, here, I mean, this is just minutes later and it's already starting to harden up. Okay, yeah, here's what it looks like when it's all done. Well, anyway, you can see there's a little, a little like, uh, I could have done better there, but it's not gonna leak. There's no, it's all sealed tight. No, a lot better than the rust that it started out as. Okay guys, no cameraman again, but um, I'm going to end this video. I just got done building this, or putting it together, putting in the, all the fancy brick down here and the puddings. And down here we're doing some fixing the ruts in this hill here and doing some landscaping down here. I can't say I am, but the cameraman, my son, he's working on that. All right, you guys, I'm not sure what it will do to hit the like button, but go ahead and hit the like button. And I'm sure you guys have probably already subscribed, so I don't know, see what happens when hit the like button. See you guys on the next episode.